Hello everyone! In this week's video, I'm going to be reviewing Arteza Art Supplies. These products were sent to me by Arteza. I also want to mention that if you buy something from Arteza using the links in the description, I do get a small commission at no extra cost to you. But don't worry, this does not affect my review of the products. All thoughts and opinions are my own. Arteza is currently having a huge sale, so if you're interested in any of these products, I would recommend getting them before the sale ends. You can also use this promo code to get 10% off at Arteza.com. Anyways, now on to the products. First we have the Detail Paint Brush Set. There are 15 brushes in this set and includes flat and round tip brushes. Next is the 11 by 14 Acrylic Pad 2 Pack. Each pack has 16 sheets of paper, so you get 32 in total. The paper is acid free and very thick. It's 246 pound paper. Now this doesn't mean the paper is super heavy. <laughs> it just means the paper is very thick. On the Arteza website, it says they are spiral bound, but the ones I got are not for some reason. It is actually fold over bound. I don't mind this because it's easy to take out the sheets of paper. Next we have the 60 set of acrylic paints. They are certified safe and non-toxic, which is really nice. I don't have to worry about poisoning myself. <laughs> Each tube is 22 ml or 0.74 US fluid ounces. On the tube we have these plus symbols. I believe that indicates how light fast the paint is. Then we have the box. This means how opaque the paint is. If the box is half filled, it's more translucent and not as opaque. Then we have these numbers and letters, and I have no idea what those mean. <laughs> there are so many colors, I was having a hard time fitting them all into frame. Last but not least, we have the 48 set of colored pencils. They are light fast and acid free. This review is going to mostly focus on the acrylic paint, but I'll talk a little bit about the pencils here. I did touch these pencils and they work very nicely. The pigment in these pencils is soft but not too soft. They are not as soft as my Prisma colors, but I kind of like this. I feel like I can put more pressure on the pencil without having it break and I can make a harder edged line, which is really nice. This 48 pack comes with a nice assortment of colors for shading and the colors are very vibrant. I will definitely be using these in my art. Now that we have looked at the supplies, let's get on to the artwork. So I start by using my light pad to transfer my sketch to the painting paper. Because the paper is so thick, I was scared I wouldn't be able to use my light pad, but thankfully I could still see my sketch through the paper. I was really, really happy about this. <laughs> I am using the color pencils to transfer my sketch to the paper. I used color pencils instead of normal pencils because they don't smear as much as normal pencils. I do want to mention I am a total beginner when it comes to acrylic painting. Before receiving these paints, I had never really painted with acrylics before. I had used craft acrylic paint for a few things, but that's about it. The acrylic paper is very nice for practicing on since it doesn't take up a ton of space like canvases do. It's much easier to store. I did try using these paints on canvas and it felt pretty different compared to how the paper felt. With the canvas, I did feel like my paint had more grip and like was really holding on to the canvas. And with the paper, the paints feel like they slide around a bit more. The paper doesn't have a ton of texture like the canvas. It's a very slight texture. Because the paper is on the smoother side, this allows the paint to really spread. I had to use a lot more paint when I was using the canvas. Another thing I noticed is that the paint dries much faster on the paper compared to canvas. So I'm not sure why, maybe the paper soaks up some of the water in the paint and makes it dry faster. Um, I don't really know the reason. The paint just dries a lot faster on the paper than the canvas. This can be good because you don't have to wait long for paint to dry. However, this also gives you less time to blend uh, the paints. So it kind of depends on your preferences on which one you would prefer. I was reading reviews of this paper online. I kept hearing people complain about it warping and buckling. But for me, it didn't buckle very much, which I was really happy about because I was scared I would start painting and the paper would just like become all bendy and wavy. <laughs> I felt like the paper could handle a lot of paint and I used quite a bit of paint on it with this painting. Uh, but the paper still hardly buckled which I was really happy about. 
Overall, I really like this paper. I like how I don't have to use a lot of paint, but I can still get a lot of coverage on the paper. I also like how the texture isn't super prominent. It makes the colors look very smooth. And I like this because I often paint characters. So I really like how there isn't a ton of texture to the paper. I think the paper is good if you are like me and want to practice painting, but also don't want to store a ton of canvases everywhere. <laughs> Now about the paints, the paint tubes are a pretty good size but I was still scared I would quickly go through the paints because they aren't like the largest tubes. However, the paint is able to spread so much that I don't have to use very much paint. I do add a little bit of water to the paint and this makes them spread even more than they already do. I try not to add too much water because I hear this can be bad for the paint. The paints also just feel very nice and smooth. They are a little thicker and aren't super watery like craft acrylic paint. Uh, once the paint is dry, it is a little darker but not very much. I was really happy about this because I hear some brands dry way darker than what they look like on the palette. I got the 60 color set. One thing that is really nice about having so many colors is that I don't have to spend very much time mixing colors. I do often work with watercolors, so I do feel comfortable when it comes to mixing paint colors. But if you are a beginner, you might like that you don't have to mix colors very much because mixing colors can be really tricky. However, you may not want to spend a ton of money if you don't know if you'll like acrylics. So you might want to start by getting a smaller set. Uh, you'll have to do what you think works best for you. One thing I do wish is that there was an easier way to replace colors. Right now, there isn't really a way to replace a color if I run out of it. I would have to buy the 60 set again or go to a different brand to try to find the same color. Arteza does have these large pouches of paint, but they only come in 14 colors. This still leaves a lot of colors that I can't replace. So I do hope Arteza starts letting us buy specific colors so that it's easy to replace colors if we buy these large paint sets. I love how vibrant the colors are. They are so bright and pigmented. I do a lot of digital work on the computer and when I was painting with these, I felt like they almost looked like they were digital because the colors are just so rich and vibrant and they look really cool. So a little about the picture, I wanted to paint something fairly simple. I am painting a picture of Marinette from the cartoon Miraculous Ladybug. I have to say I was super nervous while working on this picture since I am new to acrylics. I still don't totally know what I'm doing. <laughs> the part that made me the most nervous was her eyes because I really didn't want to ruin her skin. Thankfully I had the detail brushes. I don't know what I would have done without them. I'm able to paint small details and they worked very nicely when painting in small areas. Some of the brushes do have stray hairs that poke out, but those can easily be trimmed off. One thing I thought was really nice is that the brushes seem to kind of hold their shape. A lot of times when I get small paint brushes, they end up losing their shape. They end up getting all puffy and like they just don't come to a nice point like they originally did. But these brushes hold their shape nicely and even after I use them, they still come to a really nice point. Overall, I am really happy with how these products performed and I would definitely recommend them. I'm looking forward to getting better at working with acrylics. And let me know if you want to see more acrylic paint related videos on my channel. If you all want to see um, more painting videos, I will definitely make them. I am pretty pleased with how this picture turned out. It turned out better than I expected it would, which is nice. <laughs> Before I end this video, I want to say thank you so much to my patrons, including Rachel, Fani, Cash Money Matt, Julie, Pisatera, Eduardo, AJ, Stephanie, Nari-chan, and Daniel. Thank you so much for being a patron and for your support. Well, that is all I have to say for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next week in my next video. Bye!